off today. Welcome back to Weekend Edition and Rehash. And let's get right into it. We started the week off with a, a story that you did, Ken, on the parking problems at the ITC building. Yeah, if you've been to the ITC building uh, recently, you probably had some hard time finding parking as many government agencies have since moved in. Um, but it's not just the time that it takes to find the parking, but also the availability of accessible parking right. for individuals with disabilities. I spoke with District Director Benny Servino, and he said he's received a lot of calls about um, the, the lack of, par of parking, accessible parking, and he said that ITC management actually are not in compliance with the law in regards to that kind of parking. Um, I spoke, uh, ITC management did provide a statement. They said they are working to improve the parking overall and a pr provide appropriate signage for accessible parking. John on KOAM.com says, reserve parking should only be for the handicapped and directors or general managers for the respective departments or businesses. I recommend to also have reserved parking for employee of the year or quarter. Open parking will motivate workers and customers to carpool or arrive early. If there is not enough parking for staff and customers, then the building does not meet the requirements for your business. Okay, well speaking of improvements, we did a story, uh, that jo Jolene did a story about some of the changes uh, that are scheduled for the Guam Memorial Hospital. Yes, um, well as you all know, there's been a big push to have the maternity ward renovated and it, start, it started in October of last year. And just this week, we got a glimpse into what the new family birthing center will look like. And it's going to have eight LDR rooms, which are labor, delivery, and recovery, 15 postpartum rooms, five nurses stations, 11 newborn intensive care bays. So this is really gonna improve the functionality of the maternity ward because it's been over two decades since this ward has seen any type of renovation. And so they're really gonna bring it up to today's age. And um, speaking of renovations, after this renovation is completed, it's gonna take three phases to complete and they anticipate sending out an RFP in June with the backing of the governor and the legislature. Um, they're setting their eyes on re renovating the OR and that will be done in about four to five years. And so, uh, in terms of what GMH has going on, they also just Thursday uh, agreed upon an, a memorandum of understanding with the Department of Corrections. Uh, as we all know, the Department of Corrections, there's been discrepancies in their health care that they provide to the inmates and detainees, and there, there is a court order to have them come into compliance and provide adequate care to them. And so the memorandum of understanding is uh, for pharmaceutical services. And so the DOC has a court date on the 18th with the district court uh, where, where they'll be making the report um, to see if they're in fact progressing in complying with the court orders. And um, our Facebook patron Hoffa says, do you see the parking lot expanding? Any plan in addressing the parking issue? And that has been <laughs> the question. <laughs> that everybody has because right. you go to GMH it's hard. and it's hard <laughs> exactly it maybe even like harder to find right <laughs> <laughs> maybe even piece. harder yeah but I will say that they have been looking into that issue for quite some time and so we'll see what direction they're going to take whether it's going to be a parking lot structure with um with ticketed parking or if they're going to build upward we'll see where that goes well the big story this week major story with the one that you covered, Crystal, about what happened at the Agatha Precinct. Yeah, talk about being at the right place at the right time. Uh, it was Monday night when they, when the Guam Police Department made the arrest for 35-year-old Dimitri Lobanov. He was the sole suspect of his wife's murder. Her, her body was found uh, in their agate home earlier this month, or actually April since it's now May. And minutes into processing at the Agatha Precinct, he was able to get the detention officer's gun and shoot himself. The way the preliminary investigations, uh, the findings have so far say that, you know, it was a hostage situation in which he pulled her gun and the detective in the room um, pulled out his gun, told him to put the other gun down, and then he shot at himself. Right, and you and were actually I was there. there. Yeah. I, I think in my four years uh, at KWAM, this is the, the highlight of my career so far. I, w I was the last media representative to leave that night and I was in my car when I heard people screaming and people running so I got out and I don't know I pressed record and I started running towards it mm -hmm. and little did I know I was running into an active shooting 
and I am just so grateful that it didn't escalate any further and that I'm alive today and that no one else got hurt you know other, other than the murder suspect and condolences to the families mm -hmm. and also um, the investigation does continue we did meet media did meet with the chief of police Fred Bergaglio on Friday who says that no longer will detention officers be able to hold their guns mm -hmm. so that other arrestees don't get a don't get any ideas from what happened on Monday and use this when they're arrested and try try another one mm -hmm. or try maybe to shoot at other people if you are so blessed to be alive today. Uh, comment from kwm.com from Hoffa who says, do you, oh, I'm sorry, that is not mine. Comment. Just kidding. Comment on Facebook from Marikita Sablon. But the truth is we all weren't there so we really don't know what was going on but we could just leave it to God to judge who we are to judge. I forgot to note that uh, the situation at the Haganya precinct also revealed that there are no cameras in the precinct. So that's another issue that GPD is looking into. So who knows what really happened in the room? There are no cameras. All right, Louie, I guess we'll just have to wait and see as that investigation uh, continues. Uh, scheduled for next week, I wanted to make sure that we pass along is our Meet Our Mom series, where our reporters here will be sharing the wonderful stories about, about their mo mothers. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you've got a tip, um, video, pictures you'd like to share with us, uh, make sure to send them to our Facebook page. All you have to do is message us or or you can tag us or you can also just email us at reporters at KUAM.com. Stay tuned. Weekend Edition continues in a moment. <laughs>